guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you read by the title, this vlog and this video is all about my isolation and having COVID basically. It's day two of my quarantining. If you couldn't tell by my voice and just overall appearance, not looking my sharpest, not sounding my sharpest. I thought I'd give you a quick lowdown of my experience and kind of how it all went down. Um, about two days ago, I had the worst like lower back pain and yeah, headache and I was just like, this is weird because I never get, I never feel unwell. I spent the whole day watching Euphoria. I finished season one. That's like eight hours. Yeah, it was really worth it though. Then it got to the evening and I kind of, I was like sneezing occasionally and then my nose was kind of running a bit. I'll insert some beautiful videos of me partially struggling. Hi guys. <laughs> Cute girls get COVID. <coughs> and then I took a rapid test and boom, straight away, a strong positive line. And I'm a little bit devastated because on Sunday I had a half marathon that I've been training for for a few months and stuff now. So I just got to think of the positives. It gives me time to rest. I literally can't do much else, but it gives me time to really rest and hopefully more exciting things happen tomorrow. Good morning. So it's currently about 20 to 6. I will be going back to bed, but I keep waking up like so much during the night and also going to the bathroom a lot more. Here's too. something I found on Wikipedia. Cyber Night is a science fiction super Famicom and PC Engine role-playing video game that combines the exploration of Star Trek with strategic robot combat. Did that answer your question? But yeah, so I keep waking up a lot more, which is really annoying. <gasps> a bit inside, like the back of my throat, my tonsils and like, you know, all the roof of it. It's just so red and swollen. But yeah, so it makes it just really hard to breathe and sleep and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's my update for this morning. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to bed because I feel like I should be getting as much sleep as possible. Good night, guys. I will see you guys when I get up next. guys so mum went to the beach got a coffee because she's not in isolation she's all good she hasn't got COVID which is quite lucky my coffee's low-key a little bit cold but I have a little latte and then also a little peanut butter raw ball making my day a little bit brighter I wasn't too sure if I should keep sleeping but then like I got up obviously not that long ago and I've coughed up a lot of phlegm I don't know if anyone needed to know that but I just want to give you my update of how I'm feeling and there's also a list of things, I'll put it over here, of what I wanted to do this week. I wrote it last night when I was journaling. I just went, you know, if I'm feeling up to it, these are some things I just want to be doing. Just to keep me busy. I might do a little bit of wee reading this morning and have a bit of my coffee. And at the moment, I'm reading Phosphorescence. So it was a very late breakfast today, it's like 10.30. A few moments later. It's been a little bit of time, it's been a few hours actually. <laughs> um, I just had a really long FaceTime call, which was really nice, to my friend Pietro in Italy. And yeah, I'm at my chair and going to do some painting now. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get outside and read for a bit, or just chill and like lie down in the sun because 
feel like the sun just helps with everything. Hello guys, so we are back from my painting. I feel like I haven't done even anything, like the painting doesn't even look that different, but that's okay. It is a slow process, but I realize it's like three o'clock and I haven't had lunch, so I think I'm gonna have a salmon poke bowl. Poke or pokey, I, st I still don't know actually, so. <laughs> I wanted to get my umbrella up and I cannot get it off. So you guys can watch me struggle to get this off <sighs> for some entertainment. <laughs> there's a spider, there's a spider, there's a spider, there's a spider. So I just decided to go in the shade. <coughs> also a nice thing about today is mum came home this morning, not only with the coffee, a green juice. So I'm just gonna have this because <coughs> I feel like juices are good for me. Oh, nice. Hello again guys. So I'm midway through my green juice. I decided to come back inside because I don't know there's so many bugs. So this is the journal I use. I really like it. It's the magic of one. But yeah, I've been trying to get more to journaling like this year and stuff. We're still going, we're still going. I don't know how to paint people or dogs. I feel like it's super <laughs> unproportionate. <laughs> Hello guys, so I am now on my couch after a little bit more painting. Feeling alright, still got a hefty cough and my nose is just super sore from blowing it so much. Um, my body is a little sore and I think it's just, you know when you just sit for so long and then you move after and your kind of knees are hurting and whatnot. It's about 8 o'clock now, should be getting ready for bed but dad got tired for dinner. So I'm currently having a veggie and tofu patsu from my favourite local Thai shop that I used to work at. But I'm going to watch something on Netflix. Cheers. Good. I'm trying to not be too hard on myself for resting. Oh. Good morning. Let's let's fix this. We welcome you to the show. So we are feeling a bit better this morning. I think I'm looking a little bit better, hopefully. <coughs> Spoke too soon. And I'm going to eat a croissant. A few moments later. My croissant just burnt. I'm partially a little bit devastated. Excuse this extremely low angle, but that was so nice. Welcome back to my painting corner. 
I'm so indecisive. I don't know if I like the hexagon scenario. But it looks tacky and bad. Update, I decided to paint um, over the floor because I hated it. Yes. It's been another long day of just painting really for the majority of the day. I haven't really done the other things I wanted to do. These hexagons though that I've been painting have taken so long. I keep getting to like a stage in them where they don't align and then I'm like shoot. I'm going to do a bit more of my painting, wrap that up because I feel like my body just hasn't done anything. I've just been sitting and sitting for the last few days. I shall be ordering some delivery tonight. I never get delivery, so I'm pretty excited. I would be cooking, but there's really nothing much in my fridge. Even though I already had like Mexican takeout for lunch, I will be having takeout tonight, but I don't know what. Also not even sponsored by Menulog, but that would be pretty cool, so. I've decided what I want to order. I'm going to get Indian. It's all going to be mild. I'm getting a Malai kofta, pesh, Shawari naan. I think it's actually just a sweet naan bread. I'm not 100%. It's got crushed almonds, cashew, pistachio, and honey. Sounds good to me. And mango chicken. Yeah, I was just originally going to get one dish. The minimum delivery fee is 35, so that's really not fun. They beeped the horn, and it was the same beep as my nan's car, so I was like, why is she beeping? Then I come out and it's the like delivery driver beeping. Fresh naan. That's a good shit. Oh my god. They gave me like so much. Like there's a like, huge, huge one. Look at all this naan. Thank Just gonna get rid of some stuff. I don't know what to do with these overalls. I haven't worn them since I went to Finland. They're cute, but I never wear them anymore. Ooh. Baby, you could keep me going. I don't think I can move in these. We've got the chair test. I'm highly restricted. I don't know if I'm even into overalls anymore. I haven't worn a pair in so so long. When the trackies get tight. <laughs> When the trackies get tight, it's when you know you're making the gains. At this point, let's just say I don't have a style. This is so depressing. I only got these like, I don't know, mid-December. <sighs> and they are my size. Look how cute they are, they're like little clouds. And I left them in the back of my car. So now they just don't fit me anymore because I left them in the sun for like, I don't even know, 24 hours or more. And now they're just all shrunk. Okay, the big reveal. Oh. Voila. So I decided to keep this part open and put like my kind of nicer underwear and stuff up there. I got rid of a few things, kept a few things, hung up some stuff that wasn't originally hung up. But look at this. This is the throw in the bin pile. All of those clothes that I no longer need. Baby, you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around. Hello again. Currently about 20 to 6. 
And I think I'm gonna go for a little walk before it gets too dark. This is my first actual bit of movement in about a week. Talk to you guys after. about 11. I honestly don't know where the time's going. Welcome back shoppers. Today's special is a buy one get one free on mental breakdowns, overthinking and scrolling on your phone. Hurry over to aisle four for these items and more. I can't paint animals. The sun has also come out so I'm going to go for a little walk. So hello! One thing after this isolation period, I will try walking more and mixing up my routine a bit more because I quite enjoy a walk. I do a decent amount of running usually but I'm a bit over the painting. I feel like I've just been painting every day for the last like three days for hours which is really good and I've made some progress but I think I need to give it a little bit of a break so that is it for tonight's little infill. It's 9.06 a.m. I had the most weirdest dream and I never dream. Me and my friend, I don't know who, we were in France and mum was there too. I don't know why, but we were all in France. We were kind of in this spot that looked really familiar to me and it was this really cool lookout. We went, I was like, oh my god, follow me, let's go up here and then I couldn't really find the right places but the buildings were like the same so I was like, oh. We went in one and then it was randomly some theatre performance was about to happen and there was big curtains and we ran in and I realised this is not where I'm meant to be and then everyone started coming in, all the people for the theatre performance and then for some reason I get on the ground and start crawling like a little mouse and thinking they, they're not going to see me and then I just kept crawling and then until someone was like in front of me and they started speaking French saying that we're going to wash the dishes and clean at the back with detergent and for some reason I sort of understood what what they were saying yeah and then I woke up um it was really weird it is day seven my last day that's super exciting gonna get back into the swing of things from tomorrow hopefully I'm definitely feeling better but they do say that the symptoms stay around for a few weeks. Also, one thing I realized yesterday, I didn't have any coffee, any caffeine, and I always have coffee. So that was really strange for me. All right, guys, we are back inside because I was getting bitten alive by ants out there and I had just had enough. And we're gonna do a test. Oh, So the one on the left side is obviously when I was positive, and then today, We are now outside and I'm going to clean my car. Yeah. Hello again from my kitchen. I just deep cleansed my car. I haven't actually properly cleaned my car, like washing wise, interior, in so long. It's actually a lot of effort and it's quite hot. Yeah, it feels good. It feels like I'm doing something because. I was ignoring the fact that my car was very dirty and had a bunch of stuff in it. I'm just gonna whip up a really quick lunch. We're gonna have smashed Avalon toast with some other special goodies added to it. So, yeah. I know that I don't feel okay sun shining i think i'm just gonna chill for a bit do a bit of editing a little longer than a few minutes later hello guys as you can see i'm now in bed but yeah this afternoon i just started editing this video didn't do too much didn't paint at all today i just needed a little bit of a break but regardless today was a good day i took it as another rest day you know not that i've had enough this week but i mean i washed my car that was pretty vigorous yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. This week was okay. I didn't drive myself insane. So, so yeah, if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because we are back, guys. And I'm super excited for more videos. So I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.